Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be taking a look at our Bogota Titanium Flats 4-piece set. Um, this really isn't a review of the set by any means, but this is a little DIY tip that we wanted to share with you on uh, how to essentially plasti dip your handles to uh, make it a little more comfortable when you're picking. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so essentially what we have here are a Bogota Titanium Flats tool set. And as you can see, you've basically got a single, a triple, and a single hook. So that's essentially what we have here with the four-piece set, along with the tension wrench, of course. And basically the reason they're called flats is that's what kind of traditional picks are, are essentially made out of. It's a usually a flat piece of steel. Um, these happen to be titanium, though, which is nice um, because of their non-magnetic and anti-corrosion properties and things like that. So those are some, some benefits to having titanium in these. Um, they're still just as strong as uh, stainless steel, uh, but they will bend if, you know, you manhandle them. They're not obviously made out of kryptonite or anything like that. So um, essentially what we're going to go through today is just a little DIY tip. I want to show how you can take the handle of one of these picks themselves and Plasti Dip them. But essentially Plasti Dip is just a rubberized coating. Um, it's kind of a little hard to find in the store, meaning you got to really search for it in the paint department and like Lowe's or Home Depot, uh, but they do sell it. This is black. Um, and essentially, it's just rubberized coating. You just dip it in. Um, the instructions really call for, you know, putting it in, I guess, what, an inch every, what was it, a couple of seconds or every five seconds, something like that. So just read the directions and we'll kind of walk through that too. But essentially what you get is a nice rubberized coating. And if you've ever, you know, if you're doing lock sport and things like that and you're really having picks in your hands all day, manipulating locks, um, these, this flat design can actually start to dig into your hands and, you know, makes it not as ideal as, 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 and as comfortable. So you can plasti dip the handles to kind of give yourself a little, little cushion there to, to work with the picks. Um, I wouldn't recommend actually dipping the tension wrench, though, because you really need to be able to feel with that tension wrench. Um, you know, you want to get the movement of your finger on that thing, and you really want to be able to, to feel what the lock is doing on the tension wrench. That's important, and if you put that rubberized coating on you kind of lose some of that dexterity that you have um, with the tension wrench so I really wouldn't recommend doing the tension wrench so let's go ahead and show kind of the process here of dipping one of these um, this one in particular I don't know if you can really see the dimension of that but uh, it's a considerable difference there between the standard um, it probably adds I, I don't even want to really guess the thickness there but um, it is going to add to the weight too, which is another thing to, to keep in mind if, you know, the lightweight aspect of titanium is what's kind of brought you to these in the first place. Um, the whole set itself weighs about 0.3 ounces, the four piece set. So obviously putting Plasti Dip on them is going to increase that. So this is a double coat of Plasti Dip. So I've dipped this twice in there. So let's go ahead and I'll show you what we're doing here with that. So essentially all I'm going to do, I, first, here's a little tip too. I tried to actually put masking tape right to the line of where I was going to dip to. And uh, what happened is the rubber didn't stick to the masking tape. So whenever I pulled off the masking tape, I still had this extra bunch of rubber sitting up there. So I wouldn't recommend trying to mask them off. I just try to dip them right to the line where you want them to, well, where you want the rubberized coating to stop at. So... And also what I'd recommend too is taking some denatured alcohol or something like that and just wiping um, the pick because your fingerprints and the oils from your fingers might really kind of, uh, I don't know, not let that stick to it. I Honestly, I didn't wipe this one and this one came out okay, so I'm really not going to worry about that, but that's just a tip I wanted to throw out there. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip this in. Essentially what you're going to do after you pull this out is you're going to let it dry and you want to hang it up to do that. And I'm going to hang it right here to dry. So we'll let that dry and uh, essentially that's it. I'm probably going to take two passes of that just like I did with this, um, double coat it. But that's really what I wanted to show. I wanted to show that uh, 
Plasti Dip makes a nice handle on it. Um, gives you that tactical black too if you're into that. So there you go. That's been a short video on how to uh, Plasti Dip our four-piece set of Bogota Titanium Flats. If you're interested in picking these up, check out ITSTactical.com. You can pick them up from our store as well as the, uh, the standard Bogota entry tool set. It's been an ITS Tactical video. Make sure you let us know if you have any comments or questions, and thanks for watching.